Remember how you said this was about redemption for everyone? I do? Well, it's not about redemption for Elton and Caroline. So what's it about then? It is about... Oh no. Revenge! I'm serious. So they're both out to get us? Yes. Oh, by giving us all this money to plan their engagement party. Alex, come on. By the way, all of their deposit checks have cleared. That's what they want you to think. Okay, let's bring this back to Earth. Do you know what I told my dad when he asked me why I wanted to do this? Did you want to help people? Yes, and I still do. I like the matchmaking because I believe in the idea of love. The life coaching because I want to see people reach their fullest potential. And the party planning? I love creating those memories. Yes, it's very rewarding. But this, I mean, this is toxic. This is just two incredibly selfish people using their engagement to torture anyone that's ever hurt their feelings. Look, I get that. I do, but I'm not sure what you want from me. I'm outnumbered. I can't handle them both and watch over Harriet. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not that good. What do you mean you're outnumbered? There's two of them, and there are two of us. You're not in this alone. Really? Yes. You worry about the clients, and I will take care of Harriet. Promise? Promise. What are you doing? That's how you pinkies were. Oh, that's just... Th okay, go, go. Okay, here we go. Just a little bit more. Caroline is coming into the office today. One last meeting to iron out the details before we start setting up the venue this weekend. I'm going to keep up the brave face and finish this job. I will not let them get to us. And despite the way Caroline treats us, this party is going to be fantastic. So, are you happy with the menu? Almost. The new chef I brought in is perfect. And what Annie has done with the desserts? She oh. is very talented. Once we opened it up a little for the macrobiotic restrictions, she was really able to cut loose. Letting desserts be a bit indulgent was a great idea from James. Such a brilliant man. Uh, is she making all the desserts by herself? That's a lot to ask of her. Well, she's certainly capable. Don't you agree? But it's a lot to ask. I'm just teasing, Emma. Uh -huh. She recommended this amazing vegan bakery that can help supplement the desserts. We should try a few samples. Sure, we can go during lunch. Well, we still have a lot of work to do. We need to go over the music. Could you pick up a few samples during your lunch run? Um, Harriet doesn't do lunch runs. I thought she was your assistant. She was promoted. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> I can go get lunch and the samples. It's not a problem. No, Harriet, you had all the music suggestions. It's okay, you two talk. My suggestions can wait. Such a team player. Here's the address and the items that I wanted to try. Now it's a little bit out of the way, but hopefully traffic won't be too bad. Right. Harriet, hurry back. So, let's discuss the music. <laughs> Weren't you supposed to be in that meeting with Caroline? We were. We are. Emma is. I'm going to pick up lunch and vegan cupcakes. So, what are they talking about then? Music. Aren't you supposed to be a part of that? I don't think Caroline's interested in anything I have to say. And why should she be? I'm only an assistant after all. Event coordinator. And nobody here knows music better than you. It doesn't matter. Of course it does. We know you're good at your job. What about Caroline? Well, Caroline doesn't matter. I mean, don't tell her that I said that, but she doesn't. It's Emma that matters. And even with her unrealistically high expectations, she's done nothing but rave about you since the first day you started here. Really? Yeah, I mean, and I rave about you too. <laughs> Look, you deserve to be here. Don't let anyone tell you differently, not even you. What should I do? What would Emma do? Don't think about what Emma would do. What would Harriet do? Do it your way. What's my way? I don't know. You'll figure it out. Emma believes in you. So do I. Thanks, Mr. Knightley. Alex. You're welcome. I want the DJ to stick to a strict play, no playlist. You don't want him to add some extra tracks? I mean, he's a DJ, he does this for a living. Absolutely not. Every track should be approved by us, it's the only way to be sure. You're still here. Is there a problem? No, no problem. I just called the baker to see if they deliver. 
They don't. So what are you still doing here? They do participate in a delivery service. The kind that will pick up your order from an establishment and bring it to you. That could take forever. Actually, they're already on their way. We'll be here in about 20 minutes. Oh, I see. Thank you, Harriet. Mm. Perfect. Well, now that lunch and desserts are on their way, Harriet can add her expert music opinion to the playlist. But I... Go on. So, this party is meant to celebrate your love, but also the life you're going to live together. A life of public service. Serving the public is only the beginning. <laughs> yes, and I know that State Senator Elton has high ambitions, running for Congress. They say that can be hard on relationships. Which is why we will stand strong together. <laughs> exactly. I read this book in high school containing love letters written by different presidents. I was thinking we could print out copies and put them at tables for guests to read. I'm sorry, I thought we were discussing the music. Then we have the DJ play songs inspired by the letters. For example, Roosevelt's letters to his wife were all about the little things. Her smile, the way she slept, her laugh. It's a bit romantic, go on. So we dedicate a song from Teddy to Alice and we play the Gershwins, they can't take that away from me. It's a classic. I admit that is original and romantic. But are there more viable song options? Here, I printed copies. I hope these will work. They will.